Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Builderment. I'm just checking out our gear production. Looks fantastic. We've got a compressed belt, which is just what I want. And then I'm looking at our cache here in the top left. That seems to be moving forward at a pretty good clip. Happy about that as well. Nothing to do there. I think this episode we want to get over to... Um, I think we said we were going to ramp up the silicon production. And then we're going to end up using that silicon with what was it with the iron down here i think to make steel we wanted to get that on the on kind of our little bus belt here let's just i can't stop tilting the screen sorry about that i keep hitting the shift key because i want to scroll faster but that's not actually a feature in this game so yeah i just wanted to look at the belt here it does look like this is fully compressed curious if we can get the sand off of the belt right now. Uh, what are we using sand for? These bricks. No, we need to let it go for a while. All right, we'll work on steel for a bit. And then once we put steel on the belt, maybe we'll be done with this sand. Because um, that belt is getting pretty compressed. Obviously, I could throw more belts. I could throw more research labs um, and scale it up that way, not have to rely on one belt for either one of these things. But I'm kind of choosing to play it a little bit like shapes by just having one kind of hub, uh, just for the fun of it, just for the fun of it and the extra challenge. So let's get this silicon production ramped up first. Um, we know forges. Can we upgrade these just out of curiosity? Nope, not yet. Um, but let's get more logs on the belt. Piece of cake, right? Piece of cake. Let's do it. Um, copy here. Level three extractors. Boom, boom. And then maybe this guy could, yeah, you could go that direction. Well, it's something like that. There's those three, and then maybe one, two, three. Let's do these guys. About down, and then this one up, and this one down. Okay, and then maybe one more little group of these. You uh, rotate, boom and boom. I don't need to do this little curly thing. Uh, we could have just looped into there somehow. Um, in fact, we're probably going to have to do something a little, <laughs> a little different because I'm running out of room with this little pattern. But whatever. That might be enough logs for now anyway. Um, yeah, those are all Tier 3 extractors. The next thing we're going to need to do, once we get more silicon, maybe maxed out, we're going to have to move this belt somewhere. We need to combine it with the iron. Let's put down, what was it, a forge or something? Wrong key. Uh, what is it? Forge, I think. Let's put one of these guys down. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe right... How are we going to do this? How about right there? Let's take a look at the recipe again. We're looking at steel. We need the graphite, and then we need six iron ore. So we just need a bunch of... Or that's easy enough. Let's get that going. Boom. And I want to upgrade this before we start copying. Boom, boom. Copy. Uh, you, you. Do 
something like that to start. We want a bunch more, right? I've been going with three. I, I don't know. I just seem to do groups of three of these things. There's no real reason for that. You don't have to copy that. Um, there may be a better ratio. For some reason, I just chose to do three groups of three. No real reason for it. Um, do another one. Boink, boink. Boink. Something like that. And then that is going to come all the way over here. What I'm thinking is going to happen is this silicon. Here come the new logs. I think we've got plenty of coal coming down here. Um, do we need silicon on the belt? Let's take a look and see if we can take it off of our main kind of bus. We're done here. That gets us our batteries. That's important. Don't need sand. Here's computers. We're done. We got a machine shop upgrade. We'll take it. Concrete and couplers. Turbochargers. Nanowire. We don't have any of these things even started. Um, this guy's taking metal frames. We're about to put steel on the belt. We haven't even played with robotic arms yet. We'll see what those are all about. Okay, rotors. Iron gears. Yeah, we know about that. Steel. What is this guy taking? Oh, it's waiting on concrete. And a wire. All right. Um, I was looking to see if sand is still on. Yeah, sand is still on there. And I don't see silicon anywhere. So this, right, that's what these guys are producing. Graphite, sorry, graphite. Get those two mixed up. Was there graphite here? Needed for anything? I don't think so, not anymore, right? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, this guy we're gonna redirect. Um, it looks like these guys can definitely handle more. Let's get a a little bit more wood going on this belt. See if we can get it saturated. Uh, we're going to have to use a slightly different approach. Boom. Boom and boom. Sure. Any more? See these three? Up, up, up. Uh, that could just be rotated, right? Same with you. That'll put more logs on there. This is gonna come through now. Delete this. And put an underground. Boom. Uh, I guess we'll go the full distance. And then this guy needs what? Two inputs. So let's get that going. It's gonna be just like this. I wonder if I can copy some of this. Let's try it. Let's copy two of these. That might work for us, right? Yeah, those are forges. Yeah, I like it. Um, or do I like it? I think I wanted the inputs to come up from the 
bottom this time. Let's see what I can do about that. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I think we need to do something a little different. This guy, I want like this. Something actually like that. And then there's going to be another belt of steel come, or iron ore coming in. Kind of like this. Whoops. Boink. Splitters. Going this way. Let's see, how am I going to do? Out there and there. And then we're going to put our forge and end up right here, I think. Underground splitter here, or not splitter, underground belt. You to you. And then this guy just connects in and you get steel. That's the pattern I want. So these guys, yeah, this is what I want to copy. Boom, 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 something like that. And then outputs from here, there, and you guys can just connect up. So easy and fast to build in this game. I love it. Okay, now these guys need to hook up to this belt. Not sure how far back this goes. How far back do you gotta go, buddy? Oh, not nowhere near that far. Something like this. Roughly, uh, we probably need to reverse this belt okay. and get this guy. That looks good. Extend this one out. All right, we'll see how that does. We'll see how that does. How are we doing over here? Okay, we've got a saturated belt of logs. Now it looks like the coal is going to be weak. So let's saturate that belt. It's easy to do. I'm not doing any processing here, right? This is just raw coal coming down. Uh, maybe one more. One more trio, I should say. Okay, that'll get more coal here. We should be close to being saturated. Looks like it's, yeah, just barely. I'm gonna saturate that belt. Uh, we may want one more little trio here just to ensure that we're good. <laughs> we don't really, we don't really need to do this, I don't think. But let's get it done. Uh, one, two, three. OK, 
Okay, now these guys are... These guys are starting to back up. That's easily solved with some cut and paste, right? We can scale up in either direction. Boom. Boom. Okay, that should be overkill. Yeah, that belt looks like it's... Yeah, that belt is saturated. So we'll get a belt upgrade and that'll increase our throughput. I think that's pretty good for now. Are we getting steel? We've got steel on the belt now. How is this doing for scaling? Pretty good, right? We're making use of all of this ore. Not backing up. That's probably max. We've got... This stuff is kind of backing up, but it's not a big deal. Can't get any more throughput unless I run another belt of iron ore. We'll just wait for the belt upgrade. All right, so now we've got steel on the belt. Let's take a look at our upgrades. Okay, we need 200 and that's gonna unlock the steel rods. That's what we're interested in the most. What else can we be working on while we wait for that? We're halfway to our next belt upgrade, which is going to get us a speed of 20%. Still have several more belt upgrades coming. Uh, so that's good. Storage, metal frames, and steel. It's fine. What else we have? Curious about these robotic arms. Let's take a second and just look at those. Does it tell us much about these or why we would use these? Robotic arms can move items between buildings and belts from any direction. They can also filter for specific items. Hmm. Why would we use these instead of just belting straight into the machines? That's what I'm curious about. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe we'll find a need for them. I don't see a need for these right now. At least not yet. Maybe once we get to the bigger factory buildings or something. It'll make sense. Uh, it would make sense for a... Uh, you know, a mixed belt that has multiple pro different types of products on where you could pluck off the things that you want. Whole power plant. We haven't done this yet. What is this all about? Increase the speed of nearby factories while consuming the input items. Effect does not stack with other power plants. Increase the speed of nearby factories. Do I have to feed it coal? Most likely, right? Um, what would we want to do? We could do the mining... But our belts are kind of a limitation with the play style I've chosen for this playthrough. I'm trying to use minimal belts and just rely on those upgrades. So even if I increase the productivity of all these buildings, it's not going to do anything for me. What else? Uh, let's see what it looks like, though. Oh, plant. 2,000. Does it? Okay, yeah, it's small, and there's its area of effect. I see. Interesting. Um, interesting. This would be the area that we'd want to do it, but I don't think we need it. Like I said, we've got the saturated belt. Don't think we need to bother with it. Concrete. Can we make concrete? Or batteries, actually. That's what we should be looking at. Batteries at the machine shop. That's going to unlock this guy for us, the motors. That's kind of the path we're on. Um, let's look at the machine shop recipes and see. I can just drop one down anywhere, right? Do we have the ability to make batteries? That's the big question. We do. Electromagnets and graphite. Hmm. Okay, more graphite. More graphite and electromagnets. Let's look at that. Uh, select you, delete you. Electromagnets are here. We've been saving them. So we could pull those back and come across and meet up with, oh man, way across. <laughs> 
to meet up with this surplus graphite. Is that graphite? It is. Right, we've got surplus graphite coming here. The other option is to send the graphite across and hook up with these electromagnets. Uh, where makes sense? Where does it make sense to do this? Or just dead in the middle? I suppose we're going to be putting them on the belt, right? We may as well be closer to the, our little hub way over here at the left side of the screen. Little research lab, and maybe we bring this surplus graphite over. We just split this belt. Let's do it. Let's do it. Build splitter. About. Let me make sure this is facing the right way. I want it to go down. Guess I can take it right off of there, and then I want to put this kind of close to this belt. We'll bring this across. We're going to be joining up with electromagnets. Um, maybe electromagnets come around up and down next to this. Let's get that belt built. And let's take a look at this. We're going to reverse this belt. Doink, doink. And then you're going to hop on over this way and come down. This one needs to come up and then down. I think. Show you what I mean here. How about you? Not like that. Come up. Back down. Like that. And then it's just two ingredients, right? Uh, this is not what we want. Get rid of you. I think we're going to have another belt coming right here. And then we need machine shops. I believe that was the one. There. Batteries, electromagnets, and graphite. This is going to have to use an underground to get to the bus, or what I'm calling our bus. And then our normal routine a couple splitters. These are facing the right way. Up. Oh. So you and you, and then an underground belt, and I think we've got our little pattern. You to you. You just connect on in, and then you get batteries, which I already selected. And now this guy has to hook up with the electromagnets. Let's get those routed. Underground belt. Like we're going to have to dip underneath again. Get rid of this for now. And we can always put it back later. And let's get rid of this kind of ugly. This is no longer being used. 
do a tiny bit of cleanup. Okay, now we are making use of all these electromagnets or this copper wire. We are getting much more wire production than we were before, so that's all good. I like it. Plenty of computers on the belt. Those are ticking off pretty good. And we just need to scale this guy. Boom, 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 boom. Probably more than enough. Come the electromagnets, and here comes the extra silicon. Now that's not going to be a saturated belt, right? Because we're splitting. We're splitting from down here. Uh, iron's our problem here, isn't it? This belt needs beefing up. Fix that. We could do another one, I suppose. That should get all that picked up. Hopefully we can get uh, this belt saturated. belt would actually look a little better if it was like that, right? Just for looks. Like we might need more. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. That might do it. That might do it. All right. How are we doing over here? Steel is on the belt. And we're not, this is weak, right? All of a sudden this is weak? Look at this. We've got fully sat, these look saturated, don't they? They do, that might be the maximum throughput we can get. Yeah, that is fully saturated. And this one is also saturated. Yeah, so we'll just wait for the next belt upgrade. Got a little bit of coal going onto the belt. I don't know that we need that anymore. Uh, let's see how our belt is doing if it's congested. Nope. We have plenty of room. Plenty of room. Cash is doing pretty good. It's not the highest it's ever been. But it's doing all right. And do we have any other production lines that are backed up? Anything we could put on the belt? We could put these guys back on. These plates, steel plates, or we could shut, we could shut this off. No, that's not going to do it. Machine shop upgrade. Can we do those? Let's see. We unlock one. We did. Let's, uh, let's do this. Boom. These guys will start kicking out a bit faster. And it'd be nice to shut this off because we get a decent price for these. Get a decent price for these um, steel frames or metal frames. Oh, it doesn't look like they're going much faster, does it? All right, upgrades. Let's see where we're at. Storage don't really care. Okay, it looks like we've got the ability, we just unlocked steel rods. That's next, uh, probably next episode. 
And then we've got concrete at the forge. Steel rods. Boom. And we need steel rods for the next extractor upgrade. Or no, we need them for this guy, right? Steel rods and batteries. Batteries we have on the belt. That's what we just did. Are we making any? There's one right there. Uh, what are we? <laughs> it looks like we're weak on electromagnets, right? Pretty darn weak on electromagnets. Land looks fine. We've got that going on the belt. Probably don't need that anymore. Not making much money for us. Electromagnets, where are you? We just moved you. Where are you? Here? Nope. Here. Yeah, it's wire. Um, what we could do... Well, I could do something that's kind of ugly. Yeah, this is backing up. We could take the output of these two and send it down this way. That would help a little. Oh, I'm not crazy about that. But let's do it. Let's do it. This will give us a... Well, is it going to... Give us any more input or not? Let's do it. I'll show you what I mean. We're just going to take this belt and reverse it. And then run this up. Down here like this. And then just reverse maybe the first two. Something like that. Maybe that gets us a little more throughput. Uh, we probably need to reverse this little section too, actually. Just these two. Oh no, yeah, it's not gonna, not gonna wanna feed in. Probably one more, right? This guy probably has to be reversed. Uh, yeah, there's only one way into the splitter. That might help. So we've got three being fed from the bottom. Four production lines here. And then there's four production lines up top. Those are feeding these top three. Might help a little. Um, we could upgrade these machine shops too. I don't think that's the issue. I think it's the... Uh, the actual copper wire is the issue, but we could, we could upgrade a couple of these, right? Why not? Boom. And let's upgrade this guy, the first opportunity. Boom and boom. That, that actually has two levels of upgrades. Let's take it. Yeah, we'll see. Either way, now the wire's not backing up. At least these guys are all kind of humming along. Not bad. Yeah, I think next episode we need to look at the steel rods. And then let's just check how far are we from our belt upgrade. We're more than halfway there. Gonna get us 20%, and then we're gonna get some bigger upgrade. Well, 20% for the next one, then 30. Then 30, then 20. And then we gotta figure out what these earth tokens are. We've got... Probably about half of the tech tree, maybe a little more than half of the tech tree done. Um, but let's keep plowing through it. That's it for this episode for Analysis Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Definitely appreciate your viewership of the Glider Cat channel. Uh, thanks to those of you that have been giving the videos a thumbs up and very special thanks to Glider Cat patrons and channel members for their support of the channel. Uh, wouldn't be here without that support. And with that, I'll see you all in the next episode.